Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here with another Hamshack chat about WinLink and how to send attachments. I'm going to be sending a picture to myself. Take the picture, take the picture, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. From my winlink.org account to my Gmail account. This method can be used for any type of attachment and it works both ways, sending and receiving. Now, I'm only going to show sending because it does take a little bit of time, but the receiving is the same thing. You just connect up to your TNC, in this case, VARA. If you got something waiting to receive, it'll be there. If you got something waiting to send, it'll go. Now, I have received text documents. I've sent PDF files with charts and graphs. I've yet to come across a file that I couldn't send and receive. Basically, if you can do it with regular email, you can do it with WinLink. With that in mind, let's send a picture of my puppies using WinLink Vara HF. To get our picture sent, we start with an email. Again, it doesn't have to be a picture, but in this case, it is. Any attachment will work. So I've got that. I'm going to click right here to attach, add, <laughs> there we go. Now, uh, I have put a picture on my desktop and notice that this is called Colton Chief. Those are my puppy's names. The first one I started with was 213 kilobytes. I reduced it to 21 kilobytes. So that's the file I'm going to send. So we open that. So you can see I now have that uh, listed as an attachment. I'm going to call this pick and pick demo. And I'm going to post this to my outbox. This is now in my outbox. Close down these extra things. And I'm going to connect and send this. And once it's connected, I will go ahead and start my timer and fast forward it. And uh, you may be surprised how long it actually takes to send this. And here we go. So with nine minutes to send a 20 kilobyte message, multiply that times 10 if I sent the original original picture. Hour and a half. Oh. So let's go over and take a look at my email. Here we go, pick demo. And there's my boys. That's, uh, that's Colt, that's Chief. And they are just wonderful puppies. It will take roughly the same amount of time to receive as it did to transmit. Most of that time is the exchange of data from your system to the RMS and vice versa. So I'm not going to demonstrate that. I hope that you can see the value in being able to send attachments like this. A good scenario would be that you are in your local EOC, Emergency Operations Center, during a weather emergency. You could be tasked with sending requests for assistance to other government agencies and non-governmental agencies. For example, your local hospital was struck by a tornado. The building is still standing, but it has taken a lot of damage and has no electricity. The message could be to the National Guard to provide security and medics to assist in the hospital, to the Red Cross to help relocate the patients and Samaritan's Purse or the Salvation Army to set up a temporary hospital. Aside from the overall email, the EOC has generated an Excel spreadsheet with the number of patients affected and their specific needs, specific medicines and equipment needed, and so on. 
sending your message with the spreadsheet attached along with pictures of the damaged hospital will help the helping agencies provide the assistance needed. Once you get it set up and working, feel free to send an email, call it a test if you want, with a photo attached via WinLink to my WinLink email, and I'll respond with another picture of my smiling face or maybe my motorcycle, maybe my kitties instead of my dogs. Who knows what you'll get. But the picture isn't pretty. If you enjoyed this video and are going to try sending an attachment over Vara HF, please give me a like. You must like, like him, like him. If you have more questions or more info to share, please make judicious use of that comment section. There is a, a file full of complaints in here marked redacted. And please share this video with your friends. Here, try this. Your FT991A cohorts and other WinLink enthusiasts, especially on social media. And finally, please consider subscribing to this channel. Raise your right hand, repeat after me. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. As always, I'm at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, with another Hamshack chat, and I am out.